Hello again, YouTube, and welcome back to my Let's Play Dino Crisis 2. I am your host, 2029 Link. When last we left off, we needed to head into... Was it Edward City, I think? Yeah, we only have 25,000. Not enough to buy these lightweight armors. Now, <clears throat> I will add, I will say, during the... During the FMVs, uh, you will not see the lightweight armors on the characters, but you will see them in in-game cutscenes. Uh, yeah. We do not have enough for them because we did this. It was 50, we made it 100. Now, uh, this weapon right here is uh, actually kind of important to us right now because <clears throat> we'll be tempted to actually dish out a lot of damage with it because we pretty soon we're going to be going into an Aliosaurus nest. Now we can actually uh, deal heavy amounts of damage with these both Dylan and Regina Regina with the tripod launcher or the tri-missile pod lawn launcher and Dylan with this. Um, however, or with the anti-tank, or with the, not anti-tank, but the um, missile launcher that he is going to get in the near future. Uh, that being said, uh, we're going to be getting in there and we got to use a flare yeah, I'll explain it when it comes around. Uh, for recovery, because we have the inner suits, we no longer need any kind of hem hemostat. Uh, we're all full on this. Yeah, we have like, you know, uh, two smalls, four mediums, and four larges. Plus two resuscitate. Plus two resuscitation packs. Um should we need them should the need arise and there is nothing to buy here that being said let's continue yeah we're not we're using the heavy can't using the uh uh the uh, cannon because it's just a good idea basically hey buddy One died. Poison bullet. Oh. Really? I forget what's through here. This may be... Okay. Hey. Okay. I'm just gonna do this to show you because I didn't think there's a, uh... You can... Okay, he walks way too slow with that. I think there's one of these here, so we can actually... Do the, uh... Okay, that... <laughs> okay. And you realize that was just, uh... Oh. Okay. <laughs>
Yeah, this isn't... We're in no real da danger here. I just like to refill it pretty much every chance I get. It sucks that I can't really... Oh. I mean, it sucks that I really cannot get... Uh, I can't really get a no damage because he jumped in on me. Okay, you're probably wondering what I'm doing. I'm wondering that myself. Okay, I think it's like a little bit. Okay, let's uh, go back to the solid cannon. Otherwise, we're going to be using the anti-tank rifle for uh, Hey, buddy. Oh, step on up. Large bite mark. Dino file. You know, you know, Strong Sevilla. Um, okay, uh, I could be wrong. This might have been a a dino just invented for this game alone. I never heard of it. Uh, let, me, let me know down in the comments if it actually existed. Um, I'd love to know. 3.7 meters, 1.2. Again, not very tall, but long as all get out. The cave route which leads to the city passes through a volcano. Two years ago, the volcano suddenly started acting up. From about that same time, the four-legged creature began appearing. They seemed to favor hot and dark places. We believe that these four-legged creatures were herbivores due to the scarcity of living organisms in their habitat. But when one of our men was hacked by one of them, we learned that they are actually omnivores. Okay, herbivores, they only eat plants. Carnivores, they eat meat. Omnivores mean they eat everything. Plants, animals, you name it. Although they are slow, we have had we have to find ways to counter them. We still have yet to find a way to fight them. It's their ultra hard armor which they wear that makes them so tough. No regular firearm will hurt them. Their jaws are also very strong, strong enough to crush even a helmet. The only effective way we know so far is when they attack they stand on their hind legs. This is this is when you should shoot their stomach. It seems to be their weak point. Currently, a prototype weapon is in the late stages of development. This mine-like weapon, when complete, should flip them on their backs. But we don't know for sure if it will really work. Um. Yeah, one weapon that can hurt them is the anti-tank rifle. I'm guessing the uh, I'm guessing the uh, missile launcher would work too, uh, but this is like the handheld we weapon that would work. Um, you can shoot them when they're on their when they're on their stomachs. 
it takes a while to <clears throat> to uh to kill them in that that way more bullets totally doable when you have unlimited ammo but not right now as the weapon they're talking about it's this one the chain mine uh that is the one that we're going to be using mo this okay this combo right here this is the majority of what we'll be using in those caves we could use a solid cannon but i actually think the solid cannon will be a detriment right now or when we get there how we're here here it works Oh! Anybody else want to be a hero? Okay, that is weird. That would... That it would take more than one hit. And wouldn't you know it, the minute I make it not my sub weapon. I need it. Okay, well, let's just do that for a little bit. Oh, yeah, I got jumped. I hope I know where I'm going. Oh, yeah, I do. Survive. Let's look for another mark. Okay, let's split up. Okay, um, here's the thing. Um, growing up, I always thought that was a triangle. I started watching a Let's Play of this, and it actually occurred to me that, hey, that's a hat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Wait a minute, I want to see if it says anything. It's David's mark. Really, Colombo? I think that we'll be facing a lot of over raptors here. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> tell your friends about me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Yeah, I know that didn't heal me completely, but, you know, what can I say? You know, I, I, okay, I'm not knocking it or anything, but I always forget that in this game, you can run, you can fire while running. I think it's that that's messing me up a little bit. I'm so used to stopping, having to stop and shoot. I sometimes forget that I can run in this game, run and shoot in this game. So yeah. 
again. I haven't played this game in years. It's coming back to me, though. I'm gonna... Oh! <laughs> he ran into me after I shot it. Step up. Oh, I swear to you, this game will be so much easier once I have unlimited ammo. I will just... I'll just point my gun in any direction and then say, screw everything in that direction. Oh, it starts. As you can probably tell, I'm not real keen on this uh, portion. Because these... Uh, Because honestly, these... Because honestly, I'm not a fan of these things because... Due to radio wave interference, you can't receive the map. And this place is a labyrinth. Can I get that? Oh, I can. Yes. Well, okay, we haven't had to face any anybody here. That's all about to change. Yeah, buddy. You see what I mean? Okay, I'm not really sure what was in the other direction. Yes, I say just forget it. Forget it. Okay, man.
I think that's a hemostat, isn't it? Okay, so we basically made the wrong... The wrong move. But, if we're being perfectly honest here... But, if we're being perfectly honest, it is hard to tell... ...where that thing was leading us. Okay. Okay. Oi. Yeah, let's save. I hate going through that. I I I I truly do. Anything? Now we can get it. On what's up here? Oh, the rocket launcher! Double-handed main weapon. The attack is 100. The most destructive weapon, however, the recoil action is too large to fire rapidly. Honestly, we can go the entire thing without getting this. We can go the entirety of this game without getting this. Um, and it would not hurt my feelings. I like it, but... Um, it's not mandatory to have. What might be mandatory is these. Okay, I tell you what, we'll wait a little on that and see. Um, what we will do Yeah, this is just aching for trouble right here. I think this is it. Go, Regina. Head towards that control tower. I'll cover you. Yeah, this is it. Okay, remember when I said that this is... That I would men mention it when we got here? Okay, remember when I said that I would describe it? That I would, like, uh... Explain it when, it, when we got to it? Yeah, we've gotten to it. Basically... Basically, uh, what this boils to town now is the fact that, uh, we now have to... Ah, see, everything she has is like... Ah. Okay, basically, what this boils down to, it has no attack. Basically, you shoot that up, and... Dylan will fire at whatever is blocking your path, whether it be dino dinosaurs or what have you, or the trailer. Um, uh, and then once you get to like a certain point, then he will run toward that. Uh, he'll run toward the same structure and then run ahead of you, and you'll just sort of leapfrog each other. Um, to the towers. Um, this is a way to get, like, you know, points, um, obviously. 
Now, as Dylan, I can shoot the... I can actually... I can actually shoot the dinosaurs. But then I would have... But then, you know... It's like, you know, shoot it up and... Well, there, there you have it. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I do hate this, because you do actually share a health bar. Oh, you oh you don't? Okay, never mind then. Okay. Can I? Is he like immortal? Okay. With all due respect. Okay. Okay, I'm going to ask a question. I never had that much trouble with that with that area before. Then again, I probably 
then again, probably due to the uh, fact that I would ha would have had the uh, um, okay. Yeah, we're gonna save. Cause, wow. Yeah, I would have had that. Yeah, we don't. Just gonna recharge pretty much everything except the firewall yeah except except this cuz yeah okay do not there we go. Triceratops. One of my favorite dinosaurs. Three horned face, 8.5 meters, three. Okay, how many inches is that? I mean, I, I have no idea how, how tall that actually is. Uh, they are herbivores, and they can be found in the outskirts of the city in the fields. They protect the herd's eggs in herds. They are social dinosaurs. They are very gentle in nature, and they will not become vicious unless forced to, such as stepping on their eggs. Why would you even do that? A half a year ago, their attack on the city was unstoppable. A section of the city was completely destroyed, they seem to remember who harmed them. Ever since then, some of our soldiers have had to pay had to pay their lives for it. If you dare fight them, you have already lost the fight. An triceratops is unstoppable. The only thing that will stop it is an even ang more angry triceratops. All we can do against them is to use heavy firearms and aim for their nose and get as far away as possible since they have the priority for social lives, they will not come after you if you leave their territory. All you can do is run. Now we're going to go back and save because I don't want to run the risk of having to come back to this and accidentally running too far forward and basically screw myself out of the dino file. This is the only time you can get this. His windpipe has been ripped. They appear to have been killed, not as food, but as an enemy. the driving will handle the shooting. Express the Ceratops attack, yeah. Get 
Pretty soon there'd be another Triceratops that joins in the fray. I swear to god I never had this much trouble with this with this one level before. My god, the up here's curse is real. The up here's curse is real. That was some cool drive. Hey Regina, in front! What? No! <sighs> I've never had that much trouble. Get to the chopper, no! to retrieve the data on third energy research. Dude, even if we get the data, how do we get back to our time? The activator for the gate has been destroyed, right? That's why we need that data. If we study it, we might be able to build another gate to go back. Fine. Let's split up and search the town for the data. David? Ah. <laughs> oh. Well, at least at least our health is refilled. I mean, that's that's the important thing, right? Okay, guys, I'm going to level with you. 
I honestly, as long as I've had this game, I have never had that kind of trouble ever. I'm beginning to wonder why I'm having this much trouble now. As I said, I don't really know why I'm having this much trouble now. I mean, I had the old school PS PS1 PS1 controller, much like the same one I'm having now with the PS3. I'm playing this on, I'm playing this on my PS3, by the way. Uh, but I had it with the. Uh, with the uh, things here, you could turn on the analog sticks. Uh, I use the D-pad. I'm using the D-pad now, so I'm not really sure why I'm having this much trouble with it. I mean, maybe it's the fact that I've actually gotten used to using the uh, the uh, sticks here. I don't know. I really don't know. This is a helicopter that David was piloting. It probably ran out of fuel and crash landed. Okay, I think. Yay! Over Raptors! We've dealt with them before. Meaning, Egg Robber. Not very long and not very tall, apparently. 2.5 meters, and the height is 1.3 meters. Uh, ever since coming to this world, we've encountered many different dinosaurs, but this is the first one we thought we could handle easily. Really? And what did you... I wonder what led them to that con conclusion. We soon learned that we were sadly mistaken. They're equipped with two arsenals. One is their sharp beak and the other is their poison. The name Egg Robber was originally given based on misconception, but turns out they use their beaks to crack the hard shells of eggs and to protect themselves. To protect, uh, oh, use their beaks to crack the hard shells of the egg of, of eggs and to protect themselves, they have acidic poison. They are well equipped in both offense and defense. You shouldn't stop moving when you fight them. Some will spit poison, some will jump kick you. You will have a better chance of chance surviving if you continue to move around and, and attack. Yeah, he will jump up and jump kick you in the stomach. The small size makes them a pain. They scamper and attack in groups. They really get on your nerves. To counter them, a weapon which you can blaze away, it should do the job. Speaking of which, uh, there is going to be a, um, a section in this. By the way, the reason I'm making these videos this long is because I kind of want to get through with this game. So I can start on like a new one. Um, the next one is going to... Is obviously going to be um, uh, Mass Effect, and while doing Mass Effect, I may do Mass Effect one day, Jedi Survivor the next day. It just depends on what mood I'm in, honestly. Um, I know people are going to ask me, well, "Don't you like this game?" Because and, like, and it's like, well, of course I like the game. And of course I like the game. I mean, I never said I. I mean, I never said I didn't like didn't like the game. But I've kind of been wanting to like you know like try like uh, some new games. Drugstore. 
the save room. First things first. We almost died. That means we need to save. I mean, literally, we almost died. One more hit, it would've been goner. We would've been gone for. What the heck? We're gonna get it now. And we don't have we don't have enough for the rocket launcher. See? He's wearing the uh the armor. Oh. Shop on the papers. I underestimated the idea of trying to protect human territory. The plan to clean out the dinosaur intruding dinosaurs intruding into the city failed. The humans in this world are about to be extinct. We human I think he means we humans. We humans should ne should never lay our hands on third energy. The military folks still don't get it even, even after all this. Their plan is to fire the third energy missile in this area of the jungle and wipe the whole area out. They're, they plan to take they plan to take the third energy data disk to the missile silo in the jungle and then put the data in the warhead. The missile is scheduled to strike this area at noon tomorrow. It's either the missile first or us first. Who knows? They must have killed each other. Yeah, we'll take the mini pack small. Every little bit helps. All the coins have been taken out. You think that they were planning to, to, to do basically what Alice was doing in uh, Resident Evil Afterlife? No, not Resident Evil Afterlife, but uh, Resident Evil um, Extinction? Wait, was it Extinction? No, 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 no. I think it was Resident Evil Afterlife. Uh, you know, when she was, uh... Yeah, I think it was Resident Evil Afterlife. Because that was when she was, um... It may have been Retribution. Is in one of them. No, no. Oh, <laughs> it is. I think it was Resident Evil Afterlife. Uh, because that was the one in which, you know, they landed and basically, she basically reloaded her shotguns with coins. I mean, that's what they might have been going for. The shotgun by his feet. Anyway, that, anyway that's, the, that's the closest thing I can... I mean, basically, that's the only thing that I can think of at, at the moment. This isn't good. Get up! Get up! Get up! 
Get up, get up. <sighs> Why? Okay, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is up there. But yeah, I can't. I don't have enough room for it. And I'm not gonna waste a large midi pack. Okay, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. This is a section in which we can basically get all the points we need. Now, here's what I mean, because when you change camera angles, Keeps on going down. Effectively, essentially, essentially, you can do this as many times as you want. Anyway, yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and bore you with like, you know, uh, my trying, my runnings of doing this. Now I would do this off screen. Now, I would do that off screen. If I wasn't uh, let's playing this, I would definitely do that off screen. Because, uh, you know, I mean, you can do that 
almost endlessly. Seven thousand. It's smashed by the gate. Okay, I just want to take a little quick peek here. Okay, by my calculations, I um I only have one dino file left to go. And uh and I know exactly where that one is. Kind of the cargo, mostly firearms and other weapons. Everything has been smashed by the factory chimney. There's nothing left which looks usable. This will allow us to go back into the, uh, the, the deadly poison area. There's actually a reason why she's defending him. Also, what did he do? I mean, did he like hit him in the back of the head and they like went off the bridge? They did. Yeah, they're pretty much finished. Hey, what? We're gonna do this after we go there. Okay, we should be at the point. I'm gonna call this a video right now. We're already an hour. Um, I. that silver card automatically doubles the points you earn dang but I also want to get see the missile pod 
fires three homing rockets at once, the most powerful weapon overall. Then there's also this one. Rapid fire and power are the features of this large size machine gun. Fire while you walk. Considering we don't have really have anything else. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Maybe I can get this like later on. Um, yeah, with this and this, we're pretty much set for the rest of the game. But I am going to call this a video right now. Um, we got maybe like an hour left to go, and... By the next video, that should be the end of it. Or at least for this Let's Play. Anyway, uh, that's it for this round. Uh, be sure to join us next time when we actually finish the game and things are explained to us. Um, remember to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing is, is very important. It lets me know you care because I care for you. And you subscribing means you care for me as well. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for me. I'm your host, 2029Link. Out.